5th of January, here we are again. First of all, welcome to any new subscribers. If you're not a subscriber yet, you can fix that straight away by clicking on a button. I'm going to keep it simple this week. I've got an hour spare. Get the allotment. Put the garlic in the ground that's been there. Uh, brewing at home for quite some time. Right, roll credits. I'll see you after that. Right, here's the garlic we'll be putting in today. Um, I've got a couple of videos already made of how we got this far. But if you remember, there's three different types. Feel free to watch the videos at your leisure. Um, but here's a quick summary. Whack. Water. Windowsill. Wait. One post. Wait. Wait. Right, I'm going to start with the ones I got from the supermarket. Just bought a clove of garlic, broke it up. Put it in the soil. That's these ones to the left here. Massive root ball, as they say. Look at that. That is that is wanting to spread out, isn't it? Look at that. We plant it quite deep. We've still got the green poking out the top. Yeah, again, nice. I'm going to put them quite, not not too far apart, but big enough so you can fit a hose down between them to when the weeds come up, easy to keep down. Right, I'll crack on with this. It actually feels really good getting these in the ground. You'll have seen from a previous video, I did try and bring them weeks ago, but it was too windy. They'd have been damaged. Right, anyway, on to the next ones, which are the ones I bought from the supermarket the prior year, grew them, kept a bulb back, replanted the clove, and this is the result. These ones came up last. They were, out of all these three types, these came up last, but I'd say 90% of them have come up which is good. I thought they wouldn't. I was worried about these ones. Right, let's get them in. Let's have a close look at these ones actually, yeah. Again, yeah. Roots, 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 roots. Yeah, they are just ready to go in the ground. There's, a, there's, a, there's an argument. I should have put them in the ground sooner, but they should be fine. And now finally, we've got the ones that I bought from the supermarket, I planted, they grew, I kept some back, planted them, grew them, kept some back, 
These were the strongest ones. They weren't the first ones to come up, but they seem to be the biggest, They've got the biggest root balls. Yeah, they'll be good. I can feel it. Before I forget, what's good about growing them at home and then wait until they're like that and then putting them in, A, you know which ones have come up. B, when you put them in, you know exactly where they are. You don't have to think, oh, is that a weed coming up? Is that the garlic coming up? You know what? You know where they are. And you, you're kind of almost guaranteed they'll work. That's why I do it. I mean, you can just plant the bulb straight into the soil, which I've done before. But then you always wait you, you, tense times. You don't know if they're going to come up or not. At least I know here. Even if half of them fail, I've still got enough. So, do what? So, I reckon all of these are going to be fine. Every single one. Fingers crossed. And there we go. All in. Like I said, I don't plant them too deep. Just deep enough so that they're not too wobbly on top. But there's still some green poking out. It's a bit unfair, isn't it? If you've, you're a clover guy, like you fought your way to the light once, then some daft man buries you again. Bit of green showing. Not too floppy, even in case it's windy. I know it's going to rain over the next couple of days and it's going to be slightly warm. Should mean they're alright, shouldn't it? Oop. Right, took three lots of counting, but I reckon I've got 54, which is three or four hundred cloves of garlic. Just enough to keep me going, isn't it? Right, they'll be ready in July. But you'll be checking back in before then, won't you? You should click subscribe, get a notification when a new video's up. Follow me on Twitter got a Facebook page it is all coming together thanks for watching thanks for subscribing Ta -da. <laughs> see you next time